I'm Dennis Lin, Artistic Director of the New York Film Festival. So I think when we start the programming process every year, we ask ourselves if we're making a case for cinema as a vibrant and exciting art form, which are the 50 or so films that we would gather to make that case? And of course, you know, we answer that question in different ways every year. What I'm struck by looking at this lineup is just how many of these films attest to the process by which cinema continually reinvents itself. We have a lot of first-time filmmakers, but we also have a lot of filmmakers who are trying new things. Uh, filmmakers like Frederick Wiseman for, I think, only the second time in his career, moving away from documentary and making a fictional film. We have filmmakers like Lucien Casting-Taylor and Verena Paravel, really, I think, exploring the possibilities of documentary filmmaking uh, with their film Duhumani Corporis Fabrica. You know, filmmakers who are doing something with genre, like Mark Jenkin. And I'm also struck by just the number of filmmakers who are approaching autobiography, uh, personal stories, in strikingly different ways. Charlotte Wells, James Gray, Elegance Bratton, all of them are telling personal, even autobiographical stories. And I think in the process, kind of refreshing that, that form. And there are films that, you know, feel really up to the moment that I think are very much engaged with uh, contemporary issues and ideas. A film like Todd Field's Tar or Ruben Oslin's Triangle of Sadness, they feel absolutely made in and for 2022. And then we also have films that are rethinking how to approach history and historical figures um, like Cyril Schäublin's Unrest and Marie Kreutzer's Corsage, which I think are really exciting uh, approaches to historical cinema. We're really happy to, to continue this relationship with the filmmakers and then have the opportunity to show them at the New York Film Festival.